with Elder Godward Dungeon being close on arrival, you will need to do the City of Sensistan. For this, you will need to complete the Xandrin's quest, which I will put a link in the description for that guide. The Battle of the Monolith mini quest, 75 Slayer, 74 Archaeology, 74 Magic, and it helps to complete Desert Treasure, although you don't really need to. As for the items required, you'll need a cut Dragonstone, food, an archaeology journal, a rock hammer, which can work from your tool belt, so if you already have it, you can drop it, a desert amulet 3, only to teleport to Narda, because this is where you can start the quest. It helps to have a priest of the elves or sign up orders, a falador teleport, a clan vex if you are in a clan to teleport to the clan camp south of Falador and a cut dragon stone. We'll be making our way to the entrance outside of our dungeon too. So again, with the desert alien three, you can just teleport and then make your way southwest. And if not, you can buy Heart of Gilinor tablets from your exchange and just buy it and then break it. And just climb up so you're in the entrance. From here, we'll be talking to Ariana. And this is going to be a very long quest. I might break this into two parts because this might take like an hour, so I'll have to see. And I will try to do the full dialogue, but we'll see. So, first off, you have to do something about the eggs and then accept the quest. And she'll notice that we did the battle of the monolith to protect the eggs from the task are reclaiming them. And then just hit option one to enter the elder halls. From here, you can speak to Charles. And he'll give us a pretty good dialogue that him and Ariana, well, Ariana and Rodor have. And research together and that they discover that it would be best to put the eggs hide them in the city of Sensistine since it's not easy to access by regular people and then I guess some gods will avoid that area for whatever reason anyway if Charles wants to go through all five of the chat options from here, it'll kind of tell you why not to destroy them, why not to, see, why not, or how to drain them from their shadow poison and stuff. That is kind of corrupting the eggs or trying to make them hatch. And then we are telling him on how to hide the eggs. Uh, again, we should put them somewhere else. And then. Let's fight the Elder Gods. He's like, no, that might not be a good idea. And that's the option five. Can we move them? The answer is yes, we are able to move them. Now again, choose all the options. And he'll say, what about a random location? You're like, nope, bad idea. And then let's just put Option four, I'm stumped. And then a Xandrin will teleport in and he'll tell you that why not use the city of Sensistine as a hiding spot, which I have said earlier. And he's like, hmm, uh, we could trust him or he's a friend. This option might not matter. And then just kind of space bar again and he'll just tell you excellent. And right here, there's a little cutscene which I don't know will be playing in the background or not. Basically, what he's saying is that the 
eggs have to be touching the elder god for them to be hatching. This means that if you hide the eggs, the elder gods will not be able to physically touch them to make it hatch. And we just have to keep the fight away from the common people. And he'll tell you that he did find a remote location fortified place I know very well of. The city of Sin System. Which we have been several times. And then Rain's like, what? Sin System? Like, well, it wasn't literally thousands of years ago where they'll be in real trouble. He says this would be the perfect hiding spot. And he'll want you to meet him at the archaeology guild. Is that you can put yeah we can trust him. No. So, okay perfect that works. So yeah. Now right click the archaeology journal and teleport. And we'll be going upstairs. Go east, and you should see an NPC on the balcony. Let's speak to Doctor. Once ready, speak to the Doctor, who will be a Xandrin disguised as him. He'll tell you that he will offer to help you. So you can choose any option, really. And for this, I'll be choosing option 1. I don't think it makes an impact, so it should be fine. So basically, he's telling you he will agree to help the eggs because he did not uh, follow your instructions once and he wants to get your approval back. So with that, the clan of eggs teleport to Falador south of there. If not, just bring the Falador teleport or teleport to Port Serum to make your way to the clan camp. From here, we'll be going to Armadillo's Tower. So climb up the stairs. Sadly, you can't right click the stairs, so you have to like go up a couple times. So that's one time, two times, and we speak to Armadillo. After this, you pretty much convince Armadillo to help you. Just space bar it a bit, because I mean, he has quite a bit of dialogue. And then teleport to Valid or now. From here, same thing. Go south and we'll be speaking to Sarah Dome. From here, go to the east side of Falador Castle. Go through the three doors. Climb up the ladder. And then go through two more doors, which, huh, the doors open. Okay. Climb up the stairs and speak to Saradon. And again, he'll tell you pretty much his plans and stuff. He's like, okay, it does work fine, and you'll tell him where you'll be hiding the eggs, and he pretty much approves of it. Next up, teleport to Berthor. The lowest stone, one north. We'll be going to the Serene's battlefield, uh, her little lobby room or whatever. Not what it's called. And hit option one to confirm going up the stairs. And for here, you want to speak to Serene. And you could just space bar it. Uh, where's the other? Okay, there we go. There's Ikram. Speak to him. 
And lastly, you want to speak to Moa, I believe her name is. This will be the Zamorak Cleaver. And uh, hit option 1 to confirm. She will teleport you to Zamorak. When you do speak to Zamra, he'll tell you that he could have helped at the Battle of Monolith, but he had something to deal with in his area, so he had to go away. But with that, he will help you, and you could do option one, of course. And the little Sliske Helmets will talk to you. After that, let's see what we need to go to. Okay, back to the Archaeology Guild and speak to. Xander, who is disguised as the doctor. So climb up the stairs. Go east and let's speak to the NPC. Now that we got everyone's permission, we are now able to go to the city entrance from here. Just because I'm lazy, let's teleport again. We'll be running. North. And of course, I mean, you could go downstairs in the normal way. So, this just keep running north, and you should see an NPC. There we go. You'll see Jimmy, intern Jimmy. No idea, but let's attempt to go to the ancient door. Let's speak to a Xandrin. From here, he'll tell you. I guess that was it. There, there's like no steps. But anyway, for here, wear the Grace of the Elves, wear your sign of quarters, and make sure it's activated. So just right click toilet, and we want to be excavating the form entrance. This does take about three minutes, and you do get archaeology relic. I mean, archaeology materials from this. So, I'll be back once I am done excavating this. Now that we fully excavated, there is no enter option. So, let's speak to Xandrin and he'll tell us nothing pretty much. You'll need to look for this little pedestal right here and inspect it. And we'll get the Ponifix Magnus fingering, which of course with archaeology you have to repair it. And if you did not get the materials for this, you want to climb up and exit the pulley. Hit option one to confirm and speak to my boy Jimmy. With this, he should give you there we go. All the materials for it. Now we just run south and fix it. Actually, is this enough? Oh yeah, he does give you enough artifacts for this. The only thing he does not give you is the cut dragon stone, which of course you can buy that easily or transmute diamonds to a dragon stone if you are an Iron Man. Restore it. Confirm. And let's make, ooh, good luck HSR, nope, nothing, okay, let's make our way back to the city entrance. That would have been so awkward if I did get an HSR there. Let's enter the door. And since this is fixed, I want to right click, use it on the pedestal. This should gain access to, what, nothing interesting happened. Use. Hmm, okay, I guess you just need to normal inspect it. And we follow him, which he's a walker. But he should come to the statue, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I lied. Let's see where he's going. Okay, he's going west. Oh, south. 
Eh, I'll just walk. We'll see where he goes. Okay, I guess to this huge, I don't know what this is, a library, cathedral, church. Oh, hey, look, a new music. Oh, okay, yeah, cathedral. A lot of chairs. And, you know what, I guess we speak to him again. Let's see. We're at the city, part of it at least. Before I teleport in the eggs, I take advantage of this comprehensive calm. Do you have any questions for me regarding the city? Eh, let's do all options. You should tell us about the city on what it was beforehand. Like, how some NPCs were buried while they were still alive while it was discovered. And then like, how is it still here? Because the Zamrock Warriors and stuff. And then finally, option 5. Let's just bring in the eggs. Say, like, okay, no more stolen. Arena, we are in place. Are things ready on your end? Yep, no changes. And come on, the boom. Do that one egg. Okay, there's the earth, fire. There's the water. So one is, uh, let me see, Zamorak. This dies. Serene is like glass looking one and then I don't know what a stone one is. I forgot what it was. So now we need to find four little crystals or light stuff to uh uh for the wards to guard it and stuff. So now we have to search around the area. So let me see. Let's search this bookcase. There should be something within this room area. Kind of good. Okay. Nope, no joy. And it gets rid of the search option, which does make it pretty good. Let's try this chest on the west wall. Nope, nothing. Let's try this south. Ooh, another hero bookcase. Nope, nothing. Okay, let's try this last chest. What? Okay. Clearly, I can't see. I guess let's climb upstairs. Let's find out. And let's try this chest. Come on. Speed the item and. There we go. I got a light globe. I don't even know what it does. Let's see. In spite of its name, it looks dark. Well, that's kind of depressing to know, but okay. Let's see. Let's speak to Xandrin and give it to him. He'll tell us that it's a light source. We only need to hold on to it because we might need it soon. On second thoughts, perhaps this is an award within the cathedral. I've looked all over, I haven't seen anything that sounds one of these. It's like, hmm, disappointing. Uh, I wonder, they may have a spare in the storage and it's, it's a small building outside, immediately outside the west door, just down the first lot of steps. Of course, there is danger, meaning we will need food. And it is the streets of darkness. So it's pretty much like going under Lumbridge Castle where those little insects bite you. So let's figure out. Pass through a door and hopefully you still have your food. Huh, okay, I guess no darkness. Aw, well I was kinda hoping for a little damage at least. But oh well. Let's try going to this first oh okay, there's the Ah, the light. It hurts my eyes. Well, I like it. It makes me feel safe. Okay, so those are probably the lights. 
Okay, let's try going through this door. Okay. Oh, okay. Pick up the light orb. We can take this ward. Ah, that must be one of those wards. So as well. Okay, we take the ward. Oh, might as well go. Attempt the next building, which is probably itself because it looks like there's a weird trap thing. Oh, okay. Well, I was expecting the poison damage to be a little dangerous. Let me go in. Ooh, what's this smash statue? Ah, it smells of sulfur. I guess we'll smash it. Oop. Uh oh. Well, I guess this is where the first fight is. 25,000. Oh, it's fighting it? Oh, man. Okay. Hmm, okay, I guess the four gargoyles are somewhere in the area since they're... These wards are repelling each other. I don't think I can carry more than one. I should deliver the one and... The ward. Okay, okay, you know what? Let's pick up this light orb. Let's see if I can pick that up. Oop, okay. That's one light orb. Let's exit. And I might as well just bring this ice ward back to the cathedral. So run north and then east. Oh my gosh, a thousand damage? Jeez. That's good. That's the good door. I was expecting a little amount of damage. Oof. Oh, almost a short. Okay. okay, turns out you just speak to the NPC to give the word to. And then heal. Oh, I guess he placed it already? Because I don't see it. But anyway, Serene will come in and teleport. And saying that Hellweir and the forces are on the way. I guess to protect it. Yeah, that's fine, but next board. So continue west. And we'll be going south into that very second one. So go west and then south past the second bridge. And we'll be going to this building again where we animate those gargoyle looking things. Oh, hey, look, there's the gargoyle. Let's pick up this board. There's some kind of magical barrier. Well, I guess I have to hunt down those gargoyles. Okay, that's fine. Oop, here's a gargoyle looking thing. Oop, smash him. And I guess we attack. And pray melee. This is where you will need that rock camera for, but make sure it is in your tool belt. Sheesh! You lose a lot of health on this. Now we just attack him. And then food and mouth, food and mouth. Food. Oh my, what the heck? Oh my gosh, that was close. What? Wait, 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 no. What's happening? Can't pick it up. Oh. Okay, I guess it's a safe death question mark. I don't know. Hmm. Oh well. Kind of. Okay, let's go back. See if there's another gargoyle or something. Hmm. I wonder if Parker Iron Man is safe for them to die here or not. Not. Hmm. Maybe. Too short. Let's place this ward here. And now I see another statue. Let's smash it. Pray melee. And now we kill this gargoyle. And make sure to use your threshold size. I mean, I don't even know if this darkness is. The more darkness stacks you have, the exponential barrier damage you rotate. Hmm, okay. So I guess after I kill that, I run towards the light. Two down, two to go. Wait, where, where's my light? Okay, the light's here. 
Okay, wait. Okay, so standing by it removes that huge, huge bleed. Okay, let's go back to the very first room. Attempt to take this pedestal again. Oh, okay, well, I guess I have to kill all four gargoyles. A bit. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I guess I'll risk it. Let's go find another. I'm gonna go north. You know what? I'm gonna just use a food just because. Ooh, another pedestal. Let's place it. And let's go here. There's a red dot. You know that's good items. Squad? No. Hmm, sounds good. Let's read it. They come to me in the night. They sing to me. They are in the vault. Are they trapped? Have I gone mad? Vault. Hmm, what is that? The vault shadows or something? From the desert Alcrea site? Ooh, I can place another one here. Let's go to here. Yeah, can you taste that in the air? Is it metal? Hmm, I guess I am going the right way. Infected blood activated. Okay, there we go. Take blood bottle. Hmm, it looks like this might open the door. But I can't see anything to pull or activate it. Have you tried? I've got this. Just try loosening the bottle on the red stuff in there. It's probably just some good old fashioned blood magic. Keeping it shut. Like, hmm, sounds like a good idea. Grab the nearby bottle and pour the contents into the lock mechanism, filling it up to the rim. Like, right, well, I thought that was working for a second there too. Say, like, hmm, at least there was an explosion. Let's search this old desk. Our checklist. In order to complete update daily stock take deposit expose unicorn materials yada yada, yada, yada. Mm. I don't know. Okay, search everything. Oh man. Okay, I'm not gonna do this one. Let's go find those other gargoyles. Oh, I see one to the northwest. Let's find that one now. Oh, here, here's another light orb actually. Let's take it. Okay, let's place it here. And let's use some sharks, because I saw a gargoyle nearby here. Mm. Right. Okay, here we go. Pray Melly. And this is gonna hurt. Oop. Oop. There we go. That's three down. One more to go, and of course I can't. Oh my gosh! Oh no! It's bleed. Ah. Okay. Well, just one more gargoyle to find out, and one shark. Well, let's continue west and then going north to find it. Pretty sure I was on the right way. Hmm. I don't see a lot of light orbs, so I don't know if you need to like, manage them as you go to avoid low damage. Oh, another red dot to the west. That's pretty melee, because I don't trust myself. Where is this red dot? Take bloody 
No, it's not scary or anything. Yes, here's the fourth gargoyle. Smash and attack. Oh gosh, oh no. I don't think I have, I have the food for this. Yes, 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 that's the last one. And I died. Okay, he didn't drop anything too good. Now that all four gargoyles are filled, we can now go to each of the wards. And hopefully, I don't have to do like a weird puzzle or something to unlock them, it's just to kill those guardians. I already got the ice, so now I'll be getting the smoke. Which would be... There we go, in this one right here. Take ward. Perfect. Now let's go back to a Xandarin. Talk to and give. Yep, give him it. Uh oh, another cutscene. What is this? Sarah Dome now has entered the battlefield. Just spacebar through the animation, I mean the dialogue. And now we go east. Next up will be the Blood Ward. So again, go west through the doors. And continue to go west. Go a little bit north once you get to this little area. And then go west again. You should be right here by the Blood Book. And if you get this message, you're in the right area. Then search this old desk, and you should get a checklist. From there, go to the east side and search the pile of books. And then read the handwritten note. So let's go north again. And this is like the marketplace. Okay. Let's go to this little building, I believe. Let me see. Oh, I lied. I guess the one with the red mini map. Red dot on the mini map. Mm, what is this? Bloodied. Oh. Is that it? Now let's search this desk. Read the blood bank book. And just go through like all pages and now. You see a lot of blah blah blah. Oh geez, these things are absolutely bad. Okay, let's okay, now let's make our way back to that blood bank. So go south. Oof. If you get like a huge poison, stay by one of your lights and it'll kind of like reduce the, I don't know, damage or bleed technically. Oh, wrong spot. Right here. And 
search these shelves, you want a human, unicorn, dragon, and avion seeds. Just because my health is low, I'll eat up and stuff. Now let's interact the blood bottle. Let's put one human. We'll put in two eights for the unicorn. We'll put three eights for the dragon. We'll put one. And lastly, for the avionces, we'll be putting two. This should get us a little cutscene. And now we have killed the blood of Ward. Pray melee. Now we just kill him pretty much. Come on, he's almost dead. Let's see if he drops anything for us. Nope, oh, okay. Let's take the ward. And how do we exit? I guess activate blood battle. Auto. Let's go back to a Xander. Uh -oh. Ooh, don't kill me. Okay, let's give it back to him. Yes. Okay, the same rock came by now. Next up will be the Shadow War. So again, go west. And then we will be picking up our little ice or our little pedestal things that we have in facing around because this area does damage you as we go north. Yep, remove it. Yep, remove it. Now let's go north. Remove this other one that we put. And continue to go north. Again, remove another. Now I can travel to the most northern spot safely. Actually, I'll place one right here. And we go all the way north. Place another here. Should be in this building. When you get this message, you know you're in the right spot. Okay, there we go. Climb up the stairs. Climb up the stairs. Go west and pick up the Inquisitation Journal. Okay, take this light orb. Here we go. 
you should see these drawers right here on the northern wall. These ones you will have to do a little bit funny. But basically, you want to make like a T mark. So let me see. There's something off about these. Hope these are on. What? Try and take the book. The book. Oh, I had the book in my inventory. There we go. Just spam through all of it. And that the journal was written by Celeste. So for that, kind of zoom in like I'm doing so. And start closing the drawers. Now once they're all closed, we can start opening it. So it's a little bit easier to tell which ones are uh, that one is. And then the final, uh, actually, oof, we gotta zoom in. Put in there. And you see how it makes like a weird looking J symbol right there? Let's open up the W and X so it makes that shape. I don't know how to like make it a little more easier for you to see, but just try to make that shape. And moving on to the next. There we go. So, go downstairs. And let's take this pedestal award. And return back to a Zan uh, yeah, a Zandarin. Now that we safely brought it back, dying a couple times, let's give a shot award to him. And. Here we go. Now all four the gods are here. So I guess kind of protecting or to watch the eggs. See if they do hatch. Yet there is no evidence of doing so. With that, let's talk to him again. And what further preparations do we need? Then you'll see Rupka. Tell you that his that our plans are kind of futile because it's pretty much what he wanted the whole time. So now the eggs are hatching, or well, about to bring. Bit of dialogue, and it should be yep. The quest complete. For Fifty thousand archaeology experience. Slayer, Magic, a Combat XP map, Mach 4, new ancient spells, plus an to restore the Pontifex Shadow Rain. And let me see. Huh, I never really learned what these pages do. Oh well, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching this very long quest guide. On the city of Sinsistan. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.